We all know how good the exclusive upgrades are in Resident Evil 4 Remake, but did you know that the SG-09 becomes incredibly overpowered when you fully upgrade it? In case you don't know, upgrades are unlocked and available to purchase as you progress through the game. This is not the case on Professional. You can fully upgrade any weapon at any point in time, as long as you have the money for it, that is. So, without any bonuses or DLC, I started a new professional playthrough, and this is what happened. Still not convinced? Let's see how well it performs on Professional against the Chief of the Village, Mendez. So, making sure that you know it's professional, as you can see there on the screen. I normally use the TMP and I always gun for the upgrade ticket. With the SG-09, you can have the exclusive upgrade as soon as Chapter 5. So right after the cabin, you can have your SG-09 fully maxed out. I would bet that you can even get it way before the cabin fight. I was able to do this without using any spinels. The only spinels I used were the ones that I invested for the laser sight. So on phase two, I managed to kill the chief in under a minute. It's actually very impressive that I've been able to do this way faster than I would normally do it when using the TMP. I honestly think that only using an SG-09 is actually way better than using any other weapon. With this strategy, I don't even have to complete requests. I don't have to go for all treasures. I simply have to just fully upgrade my SG-09, make sure I have that before the Mendes fight, I would say before the cabin fight, and that's it. You don't have to spend any money on anything else. I have to say though, on this run, I did manage to also fully upgrade my knife, which, funny enough, took me longer to fully upgrade than my pistol did. This strategy only heavily relies on you only having your handgun in your inventory. If you have anything else in your inventory, you will be getting ammo for those weapons instead of your handgun. So just using the attache case and the SG-09 is enough. The guard door goes down very easily with this strategy. So there you have it, that is the fastest Garador fight in Professional. Now I know what you might be thinking, oh you just got lucky with the exclusive upgrade, you landed a critical hit. Well I'm not too sure about that. I have managed to replicate this strategy at least three times with and without flashbangs or anything else. So in this clip right here you can see an alternative strategy which involves me using other weapons like my knife and the flash grenade. So this is the safest way to do this, but it also is the most expensive way. So the strategy goes, hide behind the thing, go behind him, stab him, get away from him, use a flash grenade, equip your maxed out SG-09, shoot him again in the parasite, throw another flash grenade, and shoot him once in the parasite. And that 
should take him down in under 15 seconds. And yes, this is professional difficulty. You can easily get S plus in professional difficulty with this strategy. This is how it goes. You start off with the SG-09. In the village, grab everything, including the shotgun. Then send it immediately to your storage. After that, in chapter 2, we are going to be selling everything that we won't be using. The shotgun, the rifle ammo, the shotgun ammo, TMP ammo, anything that isn't handgun and the handgun ammo. So only use the silver attaché case, the handgun and the handgun ammo, and your combat knife, or whatever other knife that you want to use. Hand grenades are fair game, and flash grenades also. If you're trying to do this minimalistic, so that means only using pistols and and knife, you can totally do this. Like you can 100% get S plus professional minimalist and uh, get your cat ears on the same playthrough. I actually recommend you give it a try. This is by far the easiest strategy that I've managed to come up with to get S plus. This is even better than using the Chicago sweeper or the hand cannon. This is even more reliable and even more overpowered than using the TM paint. Subscribe if you haven't already with all notifications. Leave a like. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. If you have already gotten your cat ears, which most of you have at this point, give it a try. Honestly, give this give this strategy a try and it's 100% worth it. I think it's really, really fun, even if you don't need to get S+. Plus. Again, I can assure you that you will be able to get your S+, plus and get a faster time. Remember, all you need is the silver attaché case, the combat knife, the handgun, the SG-09 handgun, the handgun ammo, and that's it. You can also purchase the laser sight at the merchant's hideout if you, if you plan on doing the merchant's requests. If you want to check out my guides, make sure you click on the link at the, in the description down below or just check out my channel and sort by popular. One last thing before I go, I've done a lot of helpful content for this game and I think I've pretty much covered everything. Now, I am excited for DLC of course, but I want to focus on other things as well, so please stay tuned for that. I'm going to be playing older games, I'm going to be doing tips and tricks for newer games and I can't wait to show you. Take care and don't forget that you are loved.